this video, I'm going to show you one of my favorite blitzing concepts in Madden 22. Now, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button down below. If you want to be notified whenever we release new videos, you can also hit the notification bell icon. My name is Cody. We do videos like this every single day that can just help you get better at Madden. I wanted to do a video today. Honestly, a couple little uh, tips is going to be kind of built into this video. But this is uh, out of the 335 odd in the Baltimore playbook. Now, uh, my first ebook of the Madden 22 season was actually out of of the 335 odd uh, defense. So if you want to pick up my ebook on this formation, um, you can actually get all of my ebooks by joining my Patreon membership. It's only $10 a month to be able to be a member, and it gets you access to not only the 335 odd guide, but it actually gets you access to all of my Madden 22 e guides. In addition to that, we also give you we weekly pro tips and meta updates to kind of keep you on top of the competitive community. In addition to that, we also update those ebooks for you as needed. So all that kind Content is available in the Patreon. Got over 24 offensive and defensive guides already this year with more on the way. So if you want to check that out, that will be linked down in the description. Now, um, this is a blitz setup that I was running in the beginning of the year. Just kind of wanted to revisit it. It's um, You could actually do this out of a couple different ways. Um, but what it is, this is Sam Mike 3 uh, Press. And then you can also create this out of anything if you want to. Uh, so I'm going to show you a couple different variations uh, of this. The 335 odd has been one of the best blitzing formations for years in Madden, and this year is no different. So Sam Mike 3 Press, a couple different setups today. Um, so the first setup is we're going to spread our line. We're going to spread our linebackers, and then we're going to QB contain. I like to user this linebacker uh, Bethel, or I like to come down with the safety over the top. So whichever one you want to do is fine. So I'm just going to use Bethel right here and what you'll see is that the snap of the ball we're gonna get this really nice little B gap pressure coming right through um, the offensive line now what is also really good about this blitz it doesn't work every time like this but a lot of times it will if you simply crash your line down before you contain so you see here I crash my line down and then I contain and I'm gonna stand right here a lot of times this can come in against a blocked running back or a max protect type of scenario as you can see right there you'll also get a real quick disengage if it does get blocked let me show you what happens if your opponent blocks a tight end so again just kind of set up the pressure and um, what you'll see is if they block a tight end a lot of times this pressure will still come through that B gap kind of got picked up there uh, but as you can see, real simple concept. Now, again, this is a five on five pressure. Um, you know, so obviously if they block someone, it will, you know, be harder for the pressure to come in. But I've found over the course of running this that a lot of times this glitches. As you can see right there, a blocked running back, that little loop comes around. And that's really the key of 335 odd, in my opinion, is really mastering the loop pressure that you can create out of this formation. I think this is, you know, one of the better formations in the game for the looping concepts and things like that. Now, that's going to bring me to my second setup for this one. This one's a little bit more glitchy. Um, it's not as good if they, you know, against play action. But we're going to spread our line. We're going to spread our linebackers. And then we're going to crash our line uh, inside or crash them to the right. And then we're going to QB contain. Now, what I like to do once I do that is I'm going to zone off that uh, little linebacker right there. And then I'm going to reset. Or I'm sorry, don't spread your line. Just don't spread your line. So spread your linebackers, but we're not going to spread our line. Or you could like reset your line and then put the guy in the zone. You just want this guy to be on the contain basically. But a lot of times what you'll see is this pressure, this little looper will come all the way around the tackle. There's a way to get this a little bit more consistent. Um, and we talk about it in our defensive ebook. But again, just real simple. You can easily just you know, uh, zone out that player right there and then just contain. And a lot of times this loop will come around. And again, this is something that's really good out of 335 odd this year is just how good the loopers are. If it doesn't come in, a lot of times what I've found with this defense is you can easily get a disengage that is actually pretty glitchy uh, from the formation. So you see here, just simply get that guy on the contain. And a lot of times that tackle will suck in. And as you can see, that time we did get picked up, but you know, real simple pressure. Now, again, if you wanted to mess with this a little bit more, what you could do is you could get this guy on the contain like this and then just spread the linebackers. And then if you spread the line, notice that you see how that guy goes in. Um, you see how that lineman goes in for the, the uh, the defensive line so if you keep that lineman inside that can help a little bit with the contain loop and again you want to kind of be like right in here if you will 
just to kind of try to pull this. But as you can see, you know, simple little blitzing concept that you can mess with if you want to. There's also another way that you can do this blitzing concept um, where you shift your line. So if you shift your linebackers to this side of the formation and then you spread or spread your D line, oops, you spread your D line, a lot of times this loop will come around. So you can do something like this, you know, and then maybe use her right in here. And as you can see, that loop will a lot of times, you know, kind of cause some disengages and just crazy stuff on the O line. So this is a pressure that you can mess with in a variety of ways. Now, another thing that I really like about this formation, if you just look at the symmetry of this, we have this basic concept as well, um, as well to the opposite side. So if I blitz Bethel, notice that if I blitz Bethel and I blitz Duggar, both are now in the contain and this guy comes free. So this is a great little trick with this blitz. And then if you wanted to, you can kind of come down here with the user, um, just to kind of get some pressure. But a lot of times these double loops, one of them will come free. Norm normally at least one will come free and both will come free a lot more than you think. So again, we're just going to spread our linebackers. We're going to blitz the linebacker on the right side of the screen, kind of QB contain. I would probably recommend going ahead and, um, you know, kind of, go ahead and blitz your guys but you see here when you have this contain right here it really you don't have to have like this guy right here could be on a contain honestly and it'd be fine but if you had this guy on a contain that's you know that's again that's that's something else that you could do but anyways you'll just see a lot of times these contains will cause you know just really nice little disengages and stuff like that so again real simple you can actually recreate the same concept from the right side as well so again we're going to spread our linebackers and you can do this again i would probably do this from some other play for example like tampa 2 is a great example so we're going to blitz this guy bethel and then you're going to notice here that we're going to crash our line inside and you see that bethel is on the contain now really important you can send this guy and this guy will still be on a contain so now i can put this guy in whatever i want you know i can put you know zone him out or whatever and now i can use for this backside player but what you'll see is these loop contains a lot of times you see how these contains cause some crazy disengages and stuff like that from the pressure perspective now again i said that you could do this from any play in the formation so the first setup we're just going to spread our line spread our linebackers we're going to globally blitz our linebackers uh crash our line down and qb contain and what you'll see here is again i'm just going to use this guy and if i you know only send five and as you can see we're getting nice little gap pressure uh, out of this formation so there's a lot more that you can do with this let me give you one other blitz for the road um, we're gonna do the same thing spread our line spread our linebackers crash line down but now instead of containing we're gonna use kind of the two four or not two four five odd but the dollar principle so we're actually gonna use our Kyle Duggar here and then we're gonna blitz this nickel corner and notice how his blitz angle is gonna kind of stack, if you will. Um, if you wanted to, you could also slide him in so that just so that his blitz angle is kind of stacking. You don't have to do that, but you, you know, it's something else you can do. But anyways, you're just gonna jab at the center. So you see I'm gonna jab kind of right at this guard. And as you can see, it makes this really nice little loop pressure off of that side. So those are just some general ideas and just different kind of concepts that you can apply to the 335 odd. If you want to see all of those concepts kind of broken down a little bit more in depth and kind of more situationally explained, I'd really encourage you to get into our Patreon. We've got all that stuff in there. We've got two three-man uh, pressures that we've been running all year out of this. It's been one of my favorite defenses that I've ever put together. And uh, again, this defense has been good for a couple years, and I think it's going to continue to be effective in Madden's going forward. So thanks for watching the video. If you want to learn this defense, or if you just want to get better at the game and learn the rest of the stuff that we have over at the Patreon, I would really encourage you to join our membership. It's only $10 to sign up. There's a link in the description below where you can sign up. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.